Hi there, my name is Kavita Sharma and I'm going to talk about what are the upcoming changes in the PMP exam. Um, you see me in this dress today because we have a puja and this is an Indian tradition wherein we bring Ganesh ji at our home, keep him uh, with, our, with us for some days and then we say bye bye to him. So let's get started with the discussion of what is changing in the PMP exam and why it is changing and how are you affected. So first, let's understand what is changing. Starting 25th September 2023 here, what is changing? There's going to be enhanced data forensic and security policies for PMP exam. Um, you know that you can sit at home or go to a Pearson View Center and give the exam. Earlier, before 20, 25th September, we, we are able to see the exam result there and then on the screen. After 25th September, you won't be able to see the result there and then. The result is going to be available to you only after five business days. Why it's going to happen like that? Because a lot of times there are some manipulation of the PMP exam. What is the manipulation of PMP exam? somebody else giving the exam for a person, uh, somebody else remotely uh, giving the exam for a person or uh, the machine is compromised. So those kind of things. Uh, PMI is closely looking at those kind of problems. Earlier PMI used to look at it post the exam result. And after, you know, one or two months, you somebody would have received an email saying that your exam is invalidated. Now, PMI don't want to do that. It is done so that before a confirmation that you are a PMP, this particular check should happen and then only um, a person is validated as a PMP. So when you sit for the exam, Within next five days, your data is going to be evaluated whether somebody else is sitting and giving your exam. Are you taking help from somewhere else? Um, if you are, if there is a pattern, they would try and see that pattern and then your exam would be either deemed okay and if you pass, you would be given pass certificate or PMP credential. Otherwise, PMI is going to withhold that. Now the question is why it is happening. There have been instances and now I think there are many instances wherein there are different agencies which are luring people, PMP aspirants, that they can make them pass 100%. And when you ask them how, they can do a remote control of your PC or somebody else can sit for the exam instead of you and they can help you obviously pass the exam 100%. Now the, whoever is going to be sitting for the exam instead of you, that person would have some knowledge um, and that there is a pattern to give the answers. So if similar kind of answers are deemed right by the you know same person, am I going to have that uh, you know that response is checking and you in case you have done that fraud or people who are doing that fraud they would be identified and the PMP certificate earlier used to be revoked now it would not be given to the new people who attempt the exam after 25th of September. So this is basically to ensure that this does not happen. So that's the only change. What we're looking at is enhanced exam security. Uh, a person would not be able to see the exam result there and then on the screen when you when you click on submit. Instead, you would get your results after five days of the exam submit. So that's a big change. Um, my views, I'm slightly disappointed because the kind of happiness you get when you click on submit and when you pass the exam. Now five days is going to be really suspense for people um, when they're going to be looking at and waiting for five days for the PMP result. So that's slightly dampener. However, if this is how we can move away from all that 
um, you know, small time um, problems of somebody else sitting the exam, exam getting diluted. I think this is a good step which PMI has introduced. So with this, um, that's the big change in the exam and uh, people who are preparing prepare well and pass the exam. Have a very nice day. Thank you and bye-bye.